have been planted in our gardens for hundreds of years. And with their elegant, colorful, fragrant flower, it's no wonder that we want them in our garden. But with their increased popularity and being planted so frequently, it's also no wonder that we've been facing diseases. If you've lost a few roses to some diseases, I wanna show you some new alternatives that you might be able to use. But before we get started, I want you to think about what it is that you really like about the rose. Is it the color? Is it the fragrance? Or perhaps it's the time of year that they bloom. Shakespeare once said that a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet. And I have to tell Shakespeare that there are a couple other plants by other names that do smell just as sweet. If it's fragrance that you're looking for, the abelia is a great substitution. This is a beautiful arching mounding shrub. Most of them get to be about three to five feet tall. And they have these small, either white to light pink tubular flowers that will just cover this shrub. Now after the flowers fade, you can see that the sepals are kind of a rosy color and they'll persist on the plant to give you some more interest. It's these flowers though that actually are so fragrant that you'll smell them as you're walking by. Now this is the uh, cultivar that just has green leaves, but there are several cultivars on the market, including a Twist of series. Twist of lime, Twist of lemon, Twist of orange, and Twist of vanilla. And each one of those cultivars offer a different variegation to the foliage. It might be green and white, green and yellow, or green and orange. And if you can't decide which cultivar you want with which variegation, there's also a cultivar called Kaleidoscope that actually has green, yellow, orange, and pink foliage all on the same plant. This is a great plant um, if you're looking for a fragrant substitute to your rose. If you want something that is a little bit more uh, showy with the flower, you might look at Buddleia. Now we have some Buddleias right here and uh, a lot of your Buddleias, they come in the ranges of purple, white, pinks, and sometimes a dark pink that looks like a red almost. Now this Buddleia will get to be about five to 10 feet tall and a lot of them are taller shrubs. If you're looking for something shorter, there are some cultivars called Tutti Frutti that don't get any taller than two to three feet tall. We also have another one that's a great one that is actually a really deep sangria color and that's called Miss Molly. And again, it only gets to be about three to five feet tall. This is another great plant because it is also a favorite for our pollinators. They love this plant as it is very fragrant and has some nice nectar for them. Now there's another shrub that we have around the corner here that is great for uh, pollinators as well and that's Salvia gregei. This one here is a hot pink, but they come in many different colors, including white, light yellow, uh, pinks and reds, and even some bicolor red and white ones. This is a great pollinator shrub, like I said. Um, doesn't get much taller than about two feet. Um, and once it is established, it's fairly drought tolerant. So that's another great plus for this plant. If it's color that you're looking for, you cannot go wrong with the hardy hibiscus. Now these do get a little bit taller, anywhere from two to eight feet tall, but look at the size of these flowers. And they come in a range from white to pink to red, and again, some bicolors with different swirls and things like that. But the hardy hibiscus are just a great plant. Now related to the hardy hibiscus is the Althea or Rose of Sharon. And what I like about these plants is the, is the double flower. Um, again, coming in some of your soft pastel colors and purples, but the double flower really gives you that look of the double rose. Again, these tend to get tall, but there are some newer cultivars that do stay short. One cultivar is Little Kim, and it only gets to be about three to four feet tall. In Oklahoma, we of course have to talk about our lovely crepe myrtle that continue to give us color throughout the season. And while it has finished for this season, you can see by the abundant number of seed heads that there was plenty of color on this. This is a very compact crepe myrtle. And what I love about crepe myrtles is like junipers, you can get them from anywhere from 18 inches to 18 feet tall. This cultivar is called Pokemoke, and it actually only gets to be about three to five feet tall and it has a nice pink color on it, but you can see how well-rounded it is. Now, if you're looking for something to substitute your carpet roses, we have one here. It's another crepe myrtle. 
and it's aptly named rosy carpet. Um, this plant, while it only gets a foot tall, it will actually spread about three to four feet. So this is a great substitute for those carpet roses. Well, I hope that this has helped. I know it's unfortunate when you lose a plant in your garden, but instead of taking it as discouragement, I hope you look at it as an opportunity to plant something new. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.